Hello again, friends from Charlotte. Another great day. I have to tell you, we're all running a little weary, but still really hopeful and excited about some of the things that are happening in the life of the church. Uh, this morning, we began by celebrating all our new missionaries uh, that are sent uh, from everywhere to everywhere in the world. And what a, what a great witness that is for the United Methodist Church. We dealt with some difficult legislation again today, but we did it with grace and, and again, some, some wonderful signs of hope. Um, we dealt with the social principles, uh, which are not binding, but are, there are guiding principles for how we should live our, our life out in the world and our witness uh, to the gospel and to the United Methodist Church. Uh, we redefined uh, some things that have been kind of looming for so many years. Uh, one is marriage, and we had some great help from a delegate from Zambia that uh, if I'm gonna get this right, I'm sure I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be perfect, um, but we redefine marriage as between a man and a woman or two consenting adults. That is a sign and symbol, I believe, of where we are and what's happening and who are, we are becoming as United Methodists. So I thought that was a beautiful compromise in many ways, but also a great description of who we are and who we are becoming as United Methodists. We also, uh, we approved uh, sacramental rights for deacons. And I know that celebration for a lot of deacons, we're trying to understand now what the implications are for the ordination process and for the boards of ordained ministry, but I trust that the Holy Spirit will intervene and we will figure all the details out. Again, this has just been a blessed experience here in Charlotte, one thing after another that we just see signs of hope everywhere as we continue to expand the table. I know you've heard me use that metaphor of table over and over again, and I'll continue to use it because what I'm seeing is that the table is being expanded and chairs are being brought to the table. Yes, sometimes we have to remove a leaf or two, but most of the time we add a leaf or two to bring people to the table of varying understandings and interpretations, but all are welcome to that table of grace. So we continue to set that table and we'll add another place setting and another chair just for you. So thank you again for all of your prayers. We've got one more day to go, and I trust that it will be just as glorious as the others we have had here so far.